I'm Koki Nishioka. I'm in 10th grade. I was the quiet type in class, but there's this one girl that was always talking to me. Hey, loser, what you reading? It's Kishimoto again. She talks to me like every day. Um, it's a book? What? I know that. You think I'm stupid? Yikes! Uh, uh... Why aren't you saying anything? I asked you a question. She's so scary. I don't know what to say. Ah, uh, here. Give it to me. Crap. She's gonna make fun of me. It's a light novel. <laughs> what the hell is this? A light novel? This is what you're into, all. What? No, I, uh... Speak up. No, that's not what I'm into! <laughs> Good to hear. You scared me there for a second. What the hell does she want? I was a nerd in middle school, and I was a nerd in high school. But the kids in class were really nice to me, so I was really grateful for that. I wasn't expecting someone like her to come and talk to me. I haven't talked to a girl in ages. She looks so scary. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I just wanted to be left alone, but Kishimoto didn't care. Wow! You should cut your hair. Huh? What are you talking about? Your hair is so long. You'll look better if you cut it. Uh, uh, I'm fine. What? You don't care about how you look? Why? You should give it a shot. Want me to cut it for you? What? No, no thanks. You'll never get a girlfriend like that. You want a girlfriend, don't you? Huh? I guess. See? But not just anyone. I'm saving myself for someone. She's the only one I care about. What? Uh, that sounds... lame. So, if she says no, you'll stay single forever? Maybe. <laughs> that sounds stupid. Shut up! Leave me alone! But after that day, she stopped talking to me for some reason. Kishimoto hasn't talked to me in a while. I never know what to say to her, so I should be relieved, but why do I miss her? Then, about a week later, she came over and started talking to me again. Hey, loser, come with me! What the... What does she want now? Um, yes? You said you were saving yourself for someone, right? Uh, yeah. Who is she, huh? Tell me, who is she? Is she someone from school? Is she older than you, or younger? Uh, uh... She's in the same grade. She goes to a different school. What? What school? Look, I... I don't know! What do you mean you don't know? Last time I saw her was in elementary school, so I don't know where she is. What? I really liked her, so I told her we should get married when we grow up. But then she moved away when I was in third grade. I didn't even get to say goodbye. I haven't given up yet. I'm still going to keep looking for her. How do you know she likes you too? She didn't even say goodbye to you, right? Yeah, but I'm sure she had her reasons. And she might still like me, so I just can't think about anyone else at the time. Who knows, she might be in love with someone else. If that's the case, I might move on, but until then... You... you still love her, then, yeah? Yeah, I love the way she smiles. She always listens to me. I love the way she laughs. I don't think I'll ever meet anyone like her again. What the... why are you crying? Her name... it's Satomi Wada... Right? What? You... you know her? Uh, yeah. M better than anyone else. Where is she? Do you know? Tell me! Her parents got divorced when she was in elementary school. That's why she had to move out of town. Her dad was cheating on her mom. So her mom took her and moved somewhere far away. She didn't even get a chance to say goodbye to her friends. After that, her last name changed. She didn't fit in at school. And so she started acting out. Hanging out with a bad crowd, you know? What? Seriously? You, you want to know where she is, huh? Well, before starting high school, she moved back into town. She lives with her grandparents now. She's standing right in front of you. Wait, what? 
You? Wow, um, why didn't you say anything? I... I had no idea! I mean, look at me. I was too embarrassed. And about her promise, I wasn't sure if you remembered. And you said you were saving yourself for someone, so... I thought you had a girlfriend or something. Stupid! Uh, I was talking about you all along, but... Sorry. Uh, I was shocked when I first saw you. And you didn't even recognize me. I thought I was done for. Sorry, I just can't look people in their eyes when talking to them. So... But I recognize you now, Satomi. You haven't changed a bit. You're still the same girl I fell in love with years ago. <sighs> you haven't changed either. Koki, that's what I always liked about you. Listen, uh, I may have changed, but... Can we start over? Of course! And you don't have to change a thing! I'll try and stop being a nerd, too. I don't care about that. But we gotta get you a haircut. I like you with short hair. And... Take it easy on those light novels. I don't want you reading those things. What? You can't take that away from me! Please! I mean... I won't force you, but... If you want to fantasize about girls, you got me now, so... So, I was reunited with my childhood crush! I was so happy! I've been waiting for this day for years! And even though we weren't kids anymore, we were still in love. I'm just glad everything worked out. I'm Sadaru. I'm a doctor working in the city. I had everything I wanted. I was good at my job, and all the ladies at work loved me. He's so handsome as always! Yeah, but there's way too much competition. And I love my job. People thank me every day. I'm glad I became a doctor. Thanks, Doc! Of course. Take care. So life was pretty good. But why do I feel so empty? Work is good. Money's good. What more could I ask for? What's this? Ah, oh, class reunion. It's from Reiki Ichijo. Ah, oh, finally. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. It all started about 10 years ago, when I was in 11th grade. Reika and I were in the same class. Her dad owned one of the biggest companies in the country. She was rich, pretty, and smart. Everyone treated her like a queen. And I was no exception. One day, I gathered my courage and asked her out. Please, go out with me. Um, okay. For real? Yes! Darn it. I did terrible on the last test. Satoru, you gotta get it together. You got college exams next year. Sorry. It's just that when I start thinking about you, I just can't focus and... What? Shut up. And I still got time. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'll try harder next time. So, I was going out with the girl of my dreams, but the good times didn't last very long. What did you just say? I said, I'm breaking up with you. Why? What did I do? Tell me! Ugh, do I have to spell it out for you? My family owns one of the biggest companies in the country. I'm way out of your league. I was never serious about you anyways. What? All this time, you didn't even care about me. This can't be happening. If you want me to take you seriously, you gotta step it up. Make something of yourself. But you can't even get good grades, so... Whatever. Good luck to you. Bye. No! I couldn't go to school for a few days. She meant so much to me. I was really sad. But then, I started feeling angry. Ugh. I gotta step it up? Who does she think she is? I'll show her what I can do. After that, I started working my ass off. Zotaru, what are you doing? Why are you 
you studying during recess? Come on! Shut up. I'm trying to focus. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day. Forget him. Let's go. A little while later, she left the school to go study abroad. We're gonna miss you, Rika. Bye, everyone. Call me. But I kept studying hard, even after she was gone. I worked hard day in and day out. My family wasn't rich, so I couldn't go to a private medical school. But I still wanted to be a doctor. So I studied hard and got into a national medical school, which was a bit cheaper. I studied hard in college and finally became a doctor. I worked hard all these years to get back at Reika. Now, the time has come. I'll show her. Class reunion. You're a doctor now? Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. They never talked to me once in high school. Forget them, though. I gotta find Reika. Where's uh, Reika? Is she here? Yeah, she's over there. Thanks. Reika. Hey. Long time no see. The time is finally here! Uh, oh. Sataru? <laughs> is that her? She looks so different. She's so pale and skinny, too. Sataru, you look so mature. You changed. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, I, I guess. Is she sick or something? Whatever. Just tell her what you came here to say. I'm a doctor now. Pretty impressive, right? I guess you never should have dumped me. Wow, for real? That's amazing, Satoru. Huh? I wasn't expecting that. You must have worked really hard. Good for you. <laughs> Congratulations! Uh, yeah. Thanks. I wanted to rub it in her face, but that didn't work. She seemed genuinely happy for me. Why? I don't understand. The class reunion was fun and all, but something just didn't feel right. Why did I come here? Satoru! Reika? Oh, uh, what's up? Can we talk? I gotta tell you something. Oh, okay. Listen, I'm sorry about everything. Huh? Back in high school, the way I dumped you, it was mean. I felt really bad all these years. But I thought that was the only way at the time. Wait, you mean you didn't actually want to break up with me? No. See, the thing is... Then Reika started telling me the truth. Turns out, she had this rare illness ever since she was a kid. And her condition got worse. A little after she started dating me. She didn't want me to worry. So she decided to end things with me. Even though she didn't want to. Then she went abroad to receive medical treatment. But even the doctors abroad couldn't cure her. Why? Why didn't you tell me? I would have stuck by your side! I know that. You're a kind person, Satoru. But then, why? If I had told you, you probably would have tried to come abroad with me. And you had college exams the next year, so... I didn't want to distract you. And you only get to be a high school student once. I don't want you wasting your time on me. What?! This is insane! I hated you all those years! How could you do this to me? It really hurt me! And if you had told me the truth, I never would have broken up with you! I'm really sorry. I had no choice. Fine then. Let me help you. I want to be by your side. Thanks, but no. You're too good for me, Satoru. I don't even know if I'll be cured. I'll fix it. I'm a doctor. It's not that easy. And you shouldn't be wasting your time on me. Just stop it, okay? None of that matters. What do you want, Rika? I know what I want. I worked my ass off to get back at you. 
But I only did that because I was still in love with you. I... I still love you, Reika. I... I love you too, Satoru. I thought about you every day. I want to be with you. Then be with me. I'm never letting you go. But... But... Look, I got terrible grades as a kid. But I somehow managed to become a doctor. If I can do that, then anything is possible. You say your illness can't be cured yet. But who knows? I'll always be there for you. I promise. Satoru, I love you so much. And so, after more than ten years, we're back together again. And this time, I'm never letting her go. I'm Mizuki Yagura. I'm 25 and I'm homeless. I still had some cash on me, but since I didn't have a stable job, I tried to keep my spendings to a minimum. Hopefully I can get an apartment before winter. I don't want to freeze to death, so... But I don't know if I'll ever be able to work again. Oh, it's that girl again. She's always hanging out here. Shouldn't she be in school, though? Whatever. Not my problem. But something about her felt off. Then, one day, I saw her again. She had some textbooks in her hand. She was crying. I asked her if she was okay. Hey, you okay? Sorry. I know it's none of my business, but you looked really upset, so... I see you around. You always look upset, too. Oh, so she recognizes me. <laughs> what happened to you? Why do you live in the park? I was the one trying to help her. But for some reason, I started telling her about how I became homeless. I'm not sure why, but I guess I just wanted somebody to listen. Up until about three months ago, I had a normal job, you know? But then... My boss threw me under the bus for something I didn't even do. And I just couldn't take it anymore. I stopped going to work and they fired me. And right now, I'm too scared to get a new job, so... You have no money? I've got some savings, but I don't know when I'll start working again, so I left my apartment and here I am. Sorry, I've been talking non-stop. It's okay. I'm always hanging out here, trying to study. Huh? You don't want to go to school? I don't want to. I'm not very good with people. I see. You in middle school? Yeah. Seventh grade. Want me to teach you? I used to be a pretty good tutor. Really? Can you teach me math? I'm so bad at it. Sure thing. So, I started teaching her math using the sand on the ground as a blackboard. She went home with a big smile on her face. The next day, she came to the park again. Um, can you help me again? Uh, sure. Here, I made a worksheet for you. What? For me? If you have time, try it at home. Then bring it back to me and I'll take a look, yeah? Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good thing I went out and bought some paper and pens. So I tutored her almost every day at the park. But one day, an older man showed up at the park with her. Are you the one that gave her this worksheet? Oh, um, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. Oh no, he probably thinks I'm some kind of pedophile. Oh, don't apologize. I came here to thank you. I know you've been helping out my granddaughter. Huh? I saw the worksheet. Did you used to be a teacher or something? Uh, no. I studied education in college, but... I see. Well, I came here today to offer you a job. We become a full-time tutor for her? You two can study at home. Needless to say, I'll pay you by the hour. She hasn't been to school in years. We tried all kinds of programs. But she just couldn't fit in. Her name was Satomi. She lost her parents a few years ago. 
She lived with her relatives first, but nobody really wanted her around. She started shutting herself in and stopped going to school a little while later. Then her grandfather, who owned a large company, offered to take her in. I know you'll be a great teacher. So I started tutoring her, and her grandfather paid me well. I got a place of my own in no time. I couldn't just live in the park forever, you know? Then, about two months later. Hey, can I have a minute? Sure. Would you like to come work for me? We make textbooks. I think you'd be a great asset to our company. Oh, thank you for the offer, but I used to be in the same industry and... That's even better. But, I don't know. I'm not sure if I can ever work at a company again. No pressure. If it's too much for you, you can quit any time. Plus, you can work from home if you want to. I was worried that this might bring back some trauma from my last job, but work conditions were great. I had nothing to worry about. You're doing great, Mr. Yagura. We got some great feedback on your last workbook. It's really easy to understand, even for kids who are trying to solve it for the first time. Amazing work. Thank you, sir. For some reason, most of us forget what it's like being kids. But you're different. You really get them. This is great work. <laughs> I'm flattered. My boss was really good at motivating me. And my workbook sold more copies than any other books in the company's history. Years later, Satomi was now 19. She was in college. She even had friends now. Then, one day, I ran into my old boss at a conference. The one that threw me under the bus. Yagura! You're still working, huh? I appreciate what you did for me. Thanks to you. I didn't get fired. I even got a big promotion after that. <laughs> Shut up. I'm here to help children learn. Get out of my face. That evening, I went to see Satomi. Hey! How was the conference? I ran into my old boss. Oh, everything okay? Yeah. Hey, look. I even got first prize. <laughs> Yay! So tell me. Amazing work, Monsieur Girl. Sir, thank you for everything. You helped me get my life back on track. No. It was all you, son. Remember that. No. I couldn't have done it without your help. And none of this would have happened if it wasn't for you, Satomi. How can I ever thank you? Oh! Well, I got an idea. I want to marry you once I graduate from college. What? If that's what you want, Satomi, take good care of her, yeah? <laughs> Wait, hold on! I need some time to think! What's there to think about? You don't want to marry me? Of course I do! <laughs> Yay! So tell me, not here! So tell me, come on now. Come on, son. Give me a hug, too. Sir? I felt some kind of attraction to Satomi the moment I met her. Maybe it was because we were both hunting. But more than that, maybe we somehow knew that we could help each other out and get our lives back on track. Who knows? My name is Hayato. I'm going out with a cute girl named Rika. I was just wondering, how much does everyone pay on a regular date? For a university student like myself, I figure 500 bucks is the maximum. Some may think this is way too much and some may say it's too little. My girlfriend Rika is really not too happy about it. Aw, oh, damn, a strike! Uh. Hey, are you angry about something? Nah, no, nothing in particular. You've been acting like this recently. Something wrong? Well, if you're gonna ask, to be honest, dating you is really boring. Huh? 
Okay, which part exactly? Sure would like to hear it for future reference. It's always bowling or karaoke so tedious. I want more TDR or go to one of those buffets at a luxury hotel. Maybe even an overseas trip. Whoa, that's asking way too much. After all, we're only university students, so let's do stuff within our means. We could do all that when we're old enough to afford it. I want to go right now. And if you don't have the money, why don't you go out and make some? Or get some part-time job and take me somewhere nice. Okay, then why don't you start working part-time too? Then, with both our pay, we could splurge on something nice together. Right now, I always pay for our dates. I know it's normal that a guy pays for such things, but when it's every time we meet, it gets to be pretty rough. What? Getting your girlfriend to pay for a date? That's why I hate dirt poor guys like you. I'm going home. See ya! If I take on more part-time work, it will really affect my studies. Maybe I should ask my parents. No, 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 I can't do that. I decided that I would get through university on my own without anybody's help. Truth be told, my father is the CEO of a major food processing company, so we are uber rich. Ever since I was a kid, I got anything I wanted. If I asked them for money now, they would fork it out without a second thought. But I wanted to see how far I could go without any help from my folks. Ever since getting into university, I've been on my own. Other than tuition, I pay for my rent and living expenses with the money I make from my part-time job. In the future, I don't want to be seen as someone living off his parents' coattails. Basically, it's to better myself. I haven't mentioned anything about my family to other classmates. I didn't want people to think that I was a freeloader. And I also didn't want people befriending me just for my money. Well, I guess I'll try talking to her again. I'm sure Rika will come to her senses. Sorry, can you repeat that? Come on, how much more obvious must I get? I'm breaking up with you. I'm going to go out with Mr. Iroki. Huh? Why Mr. Iroki? Mr. Iroki is the leader of our school club. He's a popular and well-known guy around the school. He's an heir to a well-off local family. And I gotta say, he is pretty good looking too. On top of that, he's not the stuck-up guy you'd expect from people like that. To be honest, I have a lot of respect for him. You know... Mr. Roki is super rich. That's why. Huh? Because he's rich? Yeah, of course. I really learned my lesson going out with you. I realized that a guy's gotta have money or... He's just a big bore. So the reason you're gonna break up with me is that I have no money, is that it? If you're going to go out with a girl like me, you're gonna have to do better. Like be rich like Mr. Roki. So what she's saying is money is more important than being with me. Oh yeah. Mr. Roki doesn't know that we were dating. So don't go blurring it out, okay? I don't want him to think I was two-timing him. What? <laughs> That's cruel, man. I can see why you feel depressed. I guess that means I don't have much appeal, huh? No way, man! You're a good dude. Kind and straightforward and a handsome devil, too. And you got a good sense of humor, too! This time it was just that Rika was only after money. You're not at fault here, bud. Besides, it was probably better that you found out early on what her intentions really were. Thanks, man. Hearing that, I feel way better. It's good to have friends when you're in need. Yeah, he's right. I was actually lucky I broke up with her early. And I'm glad I didn't mention anything about my family. Let's drink tonight and forget all about this bullshit. What do you say, dude? Due to my buddy cheering me up and giving me confidence, I was able to forget all about Rika. After a while, I occasionally glimpsed Rika with Miss Iroki on campus. They seemed to be happily going about their lives. It no longer had anything to do with me, and I've gotten past all that's happened. If they're happy, well, I'm okay with it. Time passed, and I was able to achieve my goal of graduating from university without the help of my parents. Normally, I would return home and take over my family's business, but I found a good position while at the university and decided I'd go my own way. Three years after graduation, one day... Huh? So Rika and Mr. Oroki are gonna get married. That's great! I was invited to a party arranged by members of my old university club members. I wanted to meet up with my old friends and decided to accept the invitation. She was my girlfriend at one time after all. I suppose I should congratulate her. Hey, Hayato! You came! <laughs> yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? Thanks for inviting me, and congrats on your wedding. <laughs> Thanks. I'm so 
glad I dropped a penniless guy like you back then. So, now I have joined the ranks of the winner class. If you had the money, you could have married me. <laughs> what the hell? I came to congratulate her on this happy occasion and she has to bring that up? Hey, Hayato. Long time no see, mate. Hey, Mr. Oroki. Congratulations on your marriage. Thanks a lot. Oh, yeah. After joining my current firm, I learned that your family's group company is doing a lot of business with ours. Hope you'll continue doing business going forward. I was really shocked to hear that you were the son of the CEO of Fushiki Foods Corporation. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know. Looking forward to your business, Mr. Oroki. What? A major food corporation? The CEO's son? What's going on here? You were poor as a pauper when we were in university! Oh, what's up? What's going on? Yeah, well, to be honest, I wanted to test myself. I didn't want people to think I was sponging off my parents. I didn't want people befriending me because of my money. I explained the various reasons to everyone present as to why I kept everything quiet through university. Wow, Hayato, that's really something. Your family is uber rich and man, I couldn't do that. Yeah, really deserves respect for sure. Please, it was nothing. Nothing my ass. You even started your own company, and after three years, you're now the CEO of a major venture business. Man, to do that without any support from your family? Boy, I gotta follow your example. Why did you keep such a thing a secret? If you had told me, I would have never split up with you. Oh, shoot. Uh-huh. What did you just say? Split up? What do you mean? Well, truth be told, we were going out during our university days. Hey, please. But we broke up because she wanted to go out with a rich guy like yourself. She was not very happy that I was not rich enough to satisfy her craving for enjoyment. So, does that mean I was selected because of my money? No, no, you got it all wrong. Don't worry about it. All that is water under the bridge. I'm in love with you, Rika, so from now on, I'm going to make you love me for who I am and not for my money. You're okay. So, from now on, we will live modestly. I really love you, Rika, but I hate the way you pass judgment on people based on their status. So I'm going to have you live a modest and simple life from now on. What? I can't take that! Don't worry. I will be with you the whole way. So that wedding party ended with an unexpected outcome. Mr. Oroki was smiling the whole time despite learning that Rika was only after his money, but deep down he was pretty pissed off. After, although Rika was dreaming of living a luxurious life, they moved into an old dilapidated apartment. Their honeymoon trip to Guam was canceled and they took a trip by car to a nearby beach. <laughs> Boy, what a beautiful ocean view. Please, come on. Forgive me already. I hope Rika learned her lesson and will in the future judge people not by the cover, but what's inside. Uh, but I gotta say, Mr. Oroki's tenacity is really something. My business continued to grow and I really did not have time for other things like having a girlfriend. Oh, excuse me. Oh, is this that Sakai Fushigi series? Huh? Yes, I'm a huge fan of this series. Then one day, I accidentally met a girl that I had many things in common with, and after a while, we started dating. She judged me for who I actually am and not my status in life. I have to say, I just may have found the perfect partner. I'm Mizuki Watadai. The company I work for is pretty good. Smooth relationships and has a nice environment. However, every company has one troublemaker. Oops, sorry. Did I make a mistake again? Yes, you did. I think we corrected you last time as well. If that's the case, you need to warn me before handing me the assignment. You made a mistake before, so please be careful. Then I could have been more careful. <sighs> I'll fix it myself. It's fine. She's my colleague, Adachi. A relative of the head in another department. She got this job through him. Anyhow, Adachi is always screwing up. She makes the same mistakes even in the simplest assignments. And her attitude when she's corrected... <sighs> but since she has internal connections, no one can be really strict on her. Have some coffee. 
Should I help or something? Oh, Chief. Uh, thank you. It's nothing, really. It's, it's just that attitude I can't stand. It's on my nerves. Probably doesn't even feel sorry for making so many mistakes. Must have been pampered her whole life just because she's pretty. Sure, you might get away like that during your teenage years, but that's not how it works forever. I'll support Adachi so that the workload can be spread out more evenly. Please, be patient. All right. She's causing everyone some kind of stress. If only she could just do her job. Uh, I'm sorry. I do admit, uh, Adachi does have a pretty face. But uh, I wonder if she really thinks she can survive on her charm alone in the working world. I'm cute. So forgive me, okay? Her tactics were so blatantly obvious that the co-workers around me, both men and women, were hitting peak levels of stress. And one day, a handsome new employee came to our department. My name is Kudo. Nice to meet you all. Hey, Chief! Shall I be in charge of his training? See? Everyone else is busy with their own work, right? I have more time on my hands. Well, I'm open to guidance from anyone. That's true. Everyone else is busy filling in for Adachi. Maybe this will be a good opportunity for her to wake up and do her job. Properly. Well then, shall we get started? Yes! Let's do it! However, Kudo was extremely intelligent and capable. He was able to handle ordinary tasks without any help from Adachi. Uh, Adachi, are you free? Yes, I know. It may look like I'm slacking since I finished training the new guy, but I still have lots of work to do. Kudo is very capable. As a senior, you should work harder too, Adachi. She seems a bit down. I wonder if it's because she had nothing to teach Kudo. Well, I, I didn't think she could teach much from the beginning. Because I'm a screw-up, what's normal for everyone isn't easy for me. If that's the case, are you putting any effort? Uh, are you putting efforts to change the current situation? If you do nothing because you think you can't, it'll stay that way. You'll just continue to cause trouble for everyone. What? Are you trying to tell me that my presence is troubling everyone? I'll tell my daddy. You better watch your mouth. Uh, giving her advice for the better clearly doesn't work either. But since I'm her superior, I can't just leave her alone. There was a mistake here too, Adachi. It, it looks like a small mistake, but it's quite crucial, so you got to be careful. Uh, I'm sorry. Maybe I shouldn't be in this company anymore. I can't get anything right. <sighs> Absolutely right. What? Yes? Got a problem? I'll listen, but only if you can do the job better than me. <laughs> the atmosphere in the department changed from that day on. Apparently, Kudo was the type of person to speak straightforward with no holding back. After that, whenever he found Adachi, he would lay her down with blunt remarks. Adachi-san. Please be careful, because if you keep making mistakes like this, we will lose trust between our clients. Let's not make the same mistakes over and over again. If you can't even complete this kind of work, you really have nothing to do anymore. Chief, I'll fix that. Kudo, sorry for causing trouble. Yes, you are indeed. <laughs> because of Kudo's straightforwardness towards Adachi, co-workers were beginning to feel at ease. That's when something terrible happened. It was a Monday. Huh? Why is everyone so early? Was there a meeting? The two emails you sent on Friday to different clients... You mixed up the attached documents. What? Are you serious? I'm sorry. I screwed up again. What's with that attitude? You leaked our client's confidential information to a different company! Okay, so should I apologize to them? Of course, we've got around to doing that already. We all worked for two days straight this past weekend, except for you, Adachi. The chief and Goto-san went over to our clients to apologize. The good news is, they forgave us saying it wasn't a complete leak because the attachment was overwritten with something else during the transfer process. Ah, uh, is that right? Thank goodness. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Even after that, we had to get people to come in on their days off just to fix the file you broke. And do you know why we didn't bother to call you? Even if you did come, you wouldn't be able to do anything and just be an annoyance for the rest of us. Uh, how rude. Ever since I got hired, the chief has been working overtime every day to clean up your mess. Um, uh, he even comes in on holidays. Are you aware of this? Shut up! I'm done! I'm telling daddy! 
That's all right. I was just about to tell my daddy as well. What? D daddy? Who? My father is Yoshimune Kudo, the CEO of this company. Um... Uh... Hey, um... The rest was history. Adachi was fired and the head of the other department that brought Adachi on board was demoted. As expected, the CEO, Kudo's father, deficient and gets things done. Workflow seems to be a lot smoother after Adachi's departure. Um, Chief, can we talk briefly? I apologize for what happened to Adachi. I know you were trying your best to rehabilitate her. I, I just lost patience. <laughs> no worries. I was just worried about the backlash I could have possibly received from her father. Maybe I could learn a thing or two from you. She was bound to go sooner or later. Chief, I look forward to working with you more in the future, Kudo. It's a pleasure. I have a feeling this kid's gonna be special. Right now, I just look forward to teaching him a few things along the way. I'm sure that will improve the company even further. I'm Mizuki Aiba. I'm 24 and I'm in love. What are you doing, Aiba? Oh, hello, Miss Ogasawara. I was just thinking about you. Ah, okay. That's not creepy at all. Well, I guess being honest is a good thing, but still. Thank you! I'm not complimenting you. Oh, Miss Ogasawara, she's amazing. Her name was Elisa Ogasawara, 27. She was amazing. She was kind of strict, but she was kind, too. She just made everything so much better at work. And she was always teaching me new things. Aiba, this package design draft, did you do this? Yep, pretty good, right? The client wanted a refreshing image, right? Yup. Is that why you use all this mint leaves? I don't think that's what the client had in mind. But mint is refreshing, and I thought maybe I should have used less mint leaves. That's not my point. I wasn't very good at my job, but she never gave up on me. That's one of the main things I liked about her. Plus, she was super pretty. But I don't think she has a boyfriend. Why is that? Hey, Uwa, can I ask you something? Oh, hey, what's up? You know everything about everyone. I need some intel. I see. Well, you're right there. I know everything that goes down in this company. What do you want to know? Miss Ogasawara, does she have a boyfriend? Ah, right, her. Everyone's always asking me about her. Well, to answer your question, no, she's single right now. Yes! But she went out on a few dates before, and... Thank you! Ah, uh, I'm not done yet! Ah... Uh, there you are, Miss Ogasawara! What the... What is it, Aiba? I... I gotta talk to you. Not so loud. Let's get back to the office first. Um, no, I, I don't want others to hear. What? Wait a minute. Is this about... Oh, come on, let's go somewhere else. What is it? Is this about the company trip? It's Ogasawara! I... I like you! Please go out with me! What? You're always so kind to me and... I'm in love with you! Please let me be your boyfriend. Uh... I... I want to call you by your first name. Are you teasing me? Huh? You... in love with me? Stop messing around! What? I'm serious! I really like you! I love you! That can't be! Why not? What's so hard to understand about that? You know why. I can't have a boyfriend. What are you talking about? Uh, I don't understand. I really don't. You're the perfect woman for me. Stop it already! I'm talking about this. I know you saw it. What the? Wow! What are you doing? What is that? Is that a scar? What happened? Stop playing dumb. I know you saw this during the company trip. What? Company trip? Ah, time for a hot bath. Uh, hey, what the hell? Wow, wow! I'm so sorry. I thought this was the men's locker room. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. You idiot. You're lucky there was nobody else around. You know you could be arrested for this, you know. But that won't be good for any of us. And I know you're not lying, so whatever. I'll let it slide. Uh, just be careful from now on, okay? Oh, Miss Ogasawara, thank you! Oh, that... Yeah, now I remember. But I didn't notice your scar. Stop lying! I'm serious! I wear contacts during work, but without them I can barely see anything. Everything was pretty blurry. Huh? 
I took off my contacts before going to the bath. I could barely see your face. I knew it was you because of your voice, but that's it. Okay, but now you know. I got this scar when I was a kid. I was in an accident. Many guys asked me out before, but when they see this scar, they all left. Every single one of them. What a bunch of idiots! Huh? You fall in love with someone because you love them for who they are. Who cares about some old scars? That's very kind of you, but... It's okay. You don't have to be polite. You don't want to go out with a girl like me. Of course I do! I don't care about your old scar! You say that now, but... I'm serious. I swear. I love you for who you are. Please go out with me! No! I can't trust you! Why? Why do you care so much about your old scar? Fine then, I'll come up with some money to pay for surgery! Then you can get rid of that scar and go out with me. Uh, what? I worked my ass off after that. I had to get better at my job to make more money, so I studied like crazy. I got this! I worked overtime almost every day. Sorry, you can't pass here. Please go around the block. Let's take a break. You worked during the day too, right? You must be exhausted. Oh, I'm fine. Anything for love. Are you doing this for some girl? You sure she's not tricking you? Yup, and no. She's the love of my life. About a year later, I saved up $30,000. This should be enough. Miss Ogasawara, I got 30000 here. Go ahead and take it. What? Where did you get that kind of cash? Now you can get rid of your old scar. I'm sure the surgery won't cost that much, but... I don't need it anymore. What? The thing is, I tried once, but the doctor said he couldn't remove it completely. But it's okay. You don't have to care about my scar, right? I've been watching you. You've been working so hard, and... You got really good at your job, too. And the other day, I saw you on the way back home. You got a part-time job working as a security guard, right? She's the love of my life. So, I don't need the surgery anymore. Instead, let's use that money for our wedding. Huh? You heard me. So, what do you say? Oh, thank you, Alice. Yes, yes! I loved her so much. She was so amazing. I still can't believe some guys dumped her for her old scar. What a bunch of idiots! After that, we got married and lived happily ever after. My name is Mizuki Tachikawa. I'm currently living with my widowed mother. My little brother lives separately from us. All he does is make fun of and look down on people. So he and I don't get along. I considered myself lucky that I didn't have to live with him anymore. But one day, he came back home. Mom, I'm getting married. Really? Who is she? Someone from work. Are you going to have a wedding ceremony? Nah, it's too much of a pain in the ass. Since the company we work for is so big, we'd have to invite a bunch of people just out of obligation. I guess you have a point. Still, I'm a bit sad that I won't get to go to my son's wedding. There's no need to be sad because we're moving in with you. Huh? Y you and your wife are going to come live here? Since we're both working, we need to be somewhere where other people can help out when we eventually have a kid. Mom, you want to have your grandkids close by, right? Well, yes, I suppose so. And Mizuki, you're always holed up in your room anyway, so you won't mind, right? All right, it's settled. Once my wife and I sign our marriage documents, we're moving in. I gotta live with Kazuki and his wife now. Something tells me this isn't gonna be fun. I figured if his wife was working at the same company as him, she'd have a good head on her shoulders. I hoped Kazuki would settle down once he and his wife moved in. However, things didn't go that smoothly. After about a week of Kazuki and his wife living with us, we're having a family meeting. Family meeting? What is he talking about? Anyway, the reason we called this meeting... Mizuki, you need to move out. Huh? You've been holed up in your room ever since I moved in a week ago. I always hear anime coming from your room. If you're just gonna be watching anime all day, can't you do that in your own place? You can't sponge off of mom forever, you know. Come on, you're 30 years old. You don't feel the least bit embarrassed? 
You know I work from home, right? He really does. He brings money in. Ha! You work from home? For what company? I work freelance. Ha! Freelance is the same as freeloading. Working a little here and there whenever you feel like it. Don't try and act so proud. Mom, you're too soft on Mizuki. What is he saying, making fun of freelance workers like that? Yeah, plus I would be so afraid to have you around if we had a daughter. Who knows what you'd do to her? How dare you! I'll have you know that Mizuki... It's fine, Mom. I had a feeling this would happen once Kazuki and his wife moved in. Mizuki... It's fine. I can do my job from anywhere. I'll go find an apartment. I'm leaving, just like you asked, so take care of Mom, okay? That'll be no problem now that she doesn't have you around to look after. Just like that, I got kicked out of my own house and moved into a nearby apartment with high-speed internet. Gotta have good internet if you're gonna do freelance. Alright, time to get to work. About a month later, I got a call from my mother saying that she needed my help. Mizuki, I'm in trouble. I need you to come over right away. Okay, got it. I'll be right over. When I arrived, the house was filled with a hostile atmosphere. What happened? Even though she gets all that money from her widow's pension, ever since you left, Mom isn't helping pay for us at all. We're living with her, but she doesn't help with the chores at all. What's the point of even coming to live here? I'm just doing what I need to for myself. You two should be doing the same for yourselves. I'm not your maid, and I told you, I'm not getting that much from the pension. Okay, okay. First of all, there's no way she's getting that much from her widow's pension. Then how has she been making ends meet up until now? Seems like she's been living pretty comfortably. I told you, Mizuki helped me pay the bills. What are you talking about? What he gave you surely was nothing more than peanuts. If you call $3,000 a month peanuts, then you two must be making quite a bit. $3,000? What do you mean? You mean to tell me that you make that much just sitting on your ass watching anime? I just put anime on in the background while I work. I'm a system engineer manager. It may not seem like I do much, but I do even stuff like troubleshooting. If you were able to give mom $3,000 a month, how much do you make? Hmm, like $20,000 a month? Maybe a bit more depending on various factors. You two work for a pretty big company, right? You should be able to live comfortably without needing to rely on mom. These two are so reckless in their spending, so they've racked up a lot of debt. That's why they came back to live with me. Their ulterior motive was to avoid having to pay living expenses until their debt is paid off. I can't believe it. Ah! Uh... According to my mother, they spent their money so frivolously that despite their good salaries, they had around $25,000 in debt each. Either way, enough trying to kick me out of the house. Without me here, there's not enough money to support her. You two get out! Stop trying to sponge off of her! Uh, hey, Mizuki, wait, let's talk! Sorry for calling you here so suddenly. They wouldn't listen to just me by myself. Don't worry about it. I figured this was how things would go down. Sorry I left without telling those two about my job. It's fine. It felt good seeing you tell them what for. Should I come back and live with you again? This is a good chance for you to do what you want to do. You have the money to. Really? Really. I know you lived with me for so long because you were worried about me. Most of the money you provided, I put into savings, so I'll be able to live comfortably on my own. Okay. <laughs> Don't look so worried. You should be more worried about finding a wife of your own. Even with all that money, you'll never meet anyone if you spend all your day in your room. You don't need to worry about that. Huh? Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah. Actually, we were thinking about getting married soon. <gasps> what? Why didn't you tell me sooner? I want to meet her! Huh? You're more eager to meet her than you were with Kazuki's wife. That's because I had no idea you even had a girlfriend. 
Let alone you're planning on getting married to her. After all that went down, Kazuki and his wife apparently went to go live in a cheap apartment so they could pay back their debt. But despite that, they couldn't kick their reckless spending habits, so they remained deep in debt. Soon after, the two of them started to have problems, and now they're living separately and are filing for divorce. Mom, this is my fiancé, Yuriko. Nice to meet you. My name is Yuriko Makihara. Nice to meet you, Yuriko. I look forward to spending time with you for the years to come. Are you going to have a wedding? Of course. You're coming, right? Needless to say, we didn't invite Kazuki to the wedding. I wouldn't want him to have to shell out money for a present or something in his financial state. Hello! I'm Kazuki. I look forward to working with all of you. I'm Kazuki Kondo. I just graduated from college. Today was my first day on the job. I was a bit nervous, but I was pretty excited too. Welcome to the team. Don't ask me questions though. I'm not a very good teacher, so... Oh! Okay. I thought she was the one in charge here, though. Whatever. Where's my seat? Huh? Neo! Neo, right? Huh? It's me, Kazuki! I can't believe you're here! What are the odds? Uh, uh... I didn't know you worked here! Just... just leave me alone. Huh? Just leave me alone, okay? What's the matter with her? Her name was Mio Sawashiro. I worked with her at a karaoke parlor back in college. And she was never like this. I had no idea what was going on. The Mio I knew was more friendly. I'm sorry to trouble you. Huh? Don't mention it. But... I'm your supervisor. It's my job to take care of you. Yeah, but I'm always messing up at work, too. <laughs> True. Remember that one time you spilled the drink on a customer? And you're always getting picked on by drunks. Ah! I'm sorry! What is your problem? I'm sorry! Then it's fine. You make things more fun at work, so... I'm gonna use your kitchen now. I'll make you some porridge. Thank you. Mia was good at everything she did, and she was so nice to everyone. I loved the way she smiled. When she quit her job and left the karaoke parlor, I cried all night long. So why was she acting all weird? It just doesn't make sense. Maybe I did something to upset her. Kazuki? Mio! What are you doing here? I was waiting for you. Me? Can we talk? I'm sorry about this morning. I shouldn't have blown you off like that. No, it's fine. She even sounds different now. What's happened to her? The thing is, Miss Tabata has been harassing me at work. Huh? She works me around the clock, and she blames me for everything. Even for things I had nothing to do with. What? Why? Not sure, but I don't think she enjoyed all the attention I was getting. Huh? When I started working here, I took part in many different projects. I wanted to learn, you know? And the manager took a liking to me. That's when she started acting all mean to me. That's ridiculous! I'll go talk to her myself! No! I'm fine. I just gotta stay low for a while. And if you cause trouble, she might come after you. But... So, try to stay away from me at work, okay? It's for your own good. She said with a smile. But it wasn't the same smile I fell in love with years ago. There's gotta be something I can do for her. But what? Think. Then, I came up with an idea to put an end to all of this without making things worse. It's for Mio. I don't care if she comes after me. Bring it on. The next day. Uh, you wanted to see me, Miss Tabata? Hey, Mio. I need these by tomorrow morning. Here. Uh, what? Uh, isn't this your job? Yeah, but you're really good at this, so... I know you can do it. Don't let me down, okay? Okay. I'll do it! Uh, 
Kazuki? What? This is none of your business. It's my first year. I want to learn. Please. But. Please. Please. Fine, fine, just go. Thank you. Um, can you teach me how to fill these out? Uh, you again? Uh, what the hell? Uh. A few days later. Mio, what is this? The numbers are all wrong. What? I can't be. I checked it over and over again. I got no time for excuses. Hurry up and fix it. Oh, sorry about that. That was my fault. You again. I'll fix it right away. <sighs> hey, can you teach me how to do this? Oh, you've never done that before? Let me see. So this was my idea. I volunteered to do everything Mio's boss told her to do. Then, she'll have no reason to yell at her. I had to ask my seniors for help every time, and they were probably pretty annoyed, but I didn't care. Mio helped me out big time back in college. Now, it was my turn to save her. But then, something unexpected happened. My seniors weren't annoyed at all. They were actually really nice to me. Kazuki, you need help with anything? Don't hesitate to ask, okay? Thank you! Gondo! Let's go grab a beer tomorrow night! Sounds good! They're so nice, but why? I'm always bothering them with stupid questions. Mio! What is this? <laughs> we just got a complaint from our client. They said they didn't receive the contracts. We just lost one of our biggest accounts. What are you going to do about it? What? I'm not even in charge of that client. That's your... Stop blaming others! I've had enough! I'm going to talk to HR and get you fired! Got that? Okay... Fired? What's stopping me? I have to save her! I don't want this job anyways! Excuse me! No. You're not the one getting fired. Huh? Huh? Uh, sir? Kondo, thank you for everything. I know what you've been doing. You really helped us out with our internal investigation. You see, Tabitha? We've been looking into you. What? We know everything you've been doing to Sawashiro. Come with me. We need to talk now. <laughs> the manager dragged her out of there. I guess she's screwed. Phew. Uh, Kazuki? Oh, hey, Mio. That was a close one. Good thing the manager showed up. No, it's all thanks to you. Huh? But I didn't do anything. I noticed what you've been doing. You're trying to distract her from me. You even tried to take the blame for me just now. <laughs> well, I tried, but I was pretty scared. My knees are still shaking. Thanks for helping me. Oh, don't mention it. You've always looked out for me. It's the least I can do. <laughs> Thank you. She smiled. Finally! That's the smile I was talking about! Um, if you want, wanna grab dinner tonight? My treat. It's the least I can do. Huh? But, uh, it's okay if you got plans. No, I got nothing to do. Let's go. Can't wait. Uh, really? Yeah. Maybe we can go to karaoke after that. <laughs> Sounds fun. She wasn't going to change back into her old self overnight. But she was smiling again. So I think we're off to a good start. Have you ever been bullied at work like that? Sometimes it feels like there's nothing you can do. But remember, there's always a way. What did you think? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. See you tomorrow. Bye! Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.